So in the last episode, we went over how you can use point and figure charts to trade trend reversals, to trade uh, pullbacks into trends. And now we're going to talk a little bit about breakouts. We're going to talk a little bit about what I think is probably the most famous technical pattern out there, which is the bull or the bear flag, and how you can use point and figure charts uh, in order to trade these just like you would traditional charts. But again, with a lot of noise taken out. That's the theme we want to get here is that we're using point and figure charts to remove the noise in our system. So again, we have Tesla up here. The example doesn't matter, but we have a one and a two reversal box just because I wanted to see a lot of X's and O's. You can see this 260 area, it's very strong resistance. It was resistance here and here and here. You don't need to know too much about technical analysis other than when we got to that price, we started to see lines of O's. When we got to that, we started to see lines of O's and we got to it again, we got to see lines of O's. However, we can look at where the buyers came in and they're coming in at higher prices. If we just connect the lows here with a trend line, we can see they're coming in at higher prices. This creates one of the most famous technical patterns out of there, an ascending triangle. So the idea is you have an area of resistance. Every time you get there, you're kind of hitting your head on that. But every time it pulls back, buyers are coming in at a higher price. So instead of guessing when potentially a breakout could occur, you can just say, I want to see a number of X's above this price say three or four X's. And I'm going to use that as a sign in which this has broken out. And instead of having to wait for time to occur, again, this is a completely time agnostic charting system, we don't care about how long it takes for one thing or another to occur. We're just saying I want the price to move that distance outside of that as well. And then you can see Apple on a shorter we zoomed in here to make it a little bit more obvious. We have a big series of X's and then some O's to pull back. And then we had some X's, but they made a lower high from here. And then we had some O's and they made a higher low. So you can see how price is starting to really, really, really compact. Uh, the two things that have been very studied in technical analysis is that trends persist. Trends generally don't mean revert in the way that we think they do. However, volatility is a mean reverting instrument, essentially just meaning that periods of high volatility generally forget periods of low volatility and vice versa. So this becomes a very simple technical play, a technical setup when it comes to how to trade a point and figure chart. The time is completely irrelevant here. You know, in this case, this was about a month or so, but it could have been a year, could have been five years, could have been 10 years. We don't know and we're not really interested because if it just consolidated here for years and years and years, you would be very happy that you use a point and figure chart to keep you out of that kind of mess and to wait for the actual price action to occur. So that's just a simple way that you can take normal technical analysis, the patterns that you may have read in technical analysis books, you can apply them to point and figure charts to say, when price is consolidating, I want to then look for a breakout in whatever my bias is. You know, if you like Apple products, and you think it's a good investment, then you can use these patterns to potentially add to a particular investment. If you're just taking a trade, you can use them for trades as well.